<laughs> Hello? Can anyone hear me? I have no idea because I've literally had no time to test the audio. Welcome. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, hopefully you can see me. Uh, you couldn't see me about two minutes ago because all my camera settings have been reset. OBS or Streamlabs OBS it seems to have had a big update or something and uh, it completely cocked up all my settings. Sounds like you can hear me. That's good. That's a good start. Yeah, it not only cocked up all my OBS settings, but I completely removed all my scenes uh, until I managed to re-download uh, them from the cloud. Uh, but then it, it removed all my Stream Deck functionality so my buttons wouldn't work, uh, unkeyed all my cameras, disabled all my audio settings. Um, I think I've got it all, re all working again now, but, um, you know... Bear with me if something weird goes wrong. Like, can you can you hear the game and see me here? I think this took me ages to do it so you could hear the game again on here. Hopefully that works for Friday. Because uh, I missed last Friday because I was in Germany. If you've been following my tweets, you'll have seen that uh, I went to Cologne and uh, sampled a load of Kolsch. Uh, which was very nice. Uh, I had lots of drinkingtons and uh, ate some fantastic food, but um, it was all very beige and carby and meaty. And now, uh, now I'm uh, I'm on a definite health kick because uh, uh, I could feel my heart creaking by the end of it all. Welcome though to episode 90 of Terraflops. Ten more to go until episode 100. I don't know what I'm going to do to celebrate it. I don't know if there's any way to celebrate the shite that I've put myself through, but um, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, well, today we're playing G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra on the uh, PlayStation 3. Now, um, this game I have put in the title that it was uh, it's by Electronic Arts. What I try to do is put the actual company that developed the game uh, rather than the publisher, because EA published it. Uh, Laura did have a good time, thanks, Silver Comet. And uh, Gavin's done a picture, uh, a tweet to my, uh, a link to my tweets from pictures in Germany. Uh, yes, uh, what I normally do is put the actual company that developed it rather than the publisher. But according to the internet, uh, G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra was published by about six different developers. Uh, and I've lost the page now. I haven't, I've, I've not even been able to have my dinner yet. It's too, too busy pulling my hair out over OBS being an absolute whack. Uh Yeah, it, this was developed by Double Helix Games, Backbone Entertainment, EA, EA Mobile and Fall Line Studios. Uh, that's because this game came out on the PS2, the Xbox 360. It actually doesn't say PlayStation 3 on Wikipedia, but it definitely did because I'm holding it in my, cop in my hand. Uh, it also came out on Java, Wii, and the Nintendo DS, allegedly. Uh, and there's PSP versions of it. Uh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of different versions of it. Um, and a lot of different developers and I couldn't work out oh wait hold on I found it it's Double Helix Games there we go I'm going to update my update my, my my video description now I dove deeper into the Wikipedia and the PS3 version is uh, it's developed by Double Helix Games lovely oh, this is a bag of professionalism today um I had a whole hour to get ready. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready nice and early, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, start on time. Stream's gonna look good, and you know, back from my holiday refreshed. What could possibly go wrong? All of it, <laughs> fucking all of it. Right, uh, what's going on here? Top chat. Get rid of that. Live chat. There we go. Uh, all right, here we go, delete. All right, there's my Twitch chat. Hello to everyone joining. I'll do some shout outs in a minute once 
I'm all done and good to go. Oh, fuck, why did... How have I closed down all my windows again? Uh, a year ago, uh, So this game was reviewed by Eurogamer as well. I've just got to find the page. Do, 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 do. This is some very jolly army music. G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra Eurogamer. Here we go. Joe Blows was the subheader, which is excellent. Reviewed by Dan Pearson. Oh, I haven't seen Dan for ages. Dan's fucking great. Uh, Dan gave this a 3 out of 10 in the Eurogamer review. He says, a spotlight of entertainment is proffered by the acceleration suit whose power charges gradually with kills, releasing a burst of speed and increasing firepower for a few seconds. You don't need it, though. In fact, you don't really need anything on offer here at all. If your progeny are screaming for a slice of the playground kudos, then get them a copy of Viva Piñata and sellotape a generic action figure to the front of it. They'll thank you for it later. Um, oh, God. Switching to the easiest difficulty levels means you'll have... Oh, hold on, okay, this looks like a good chapter. If you do die, the AI-controlled partner often sits rigidly in the field of enemy fire, swiftly gunned down without offering any resistance. When you both die, the whole level must be started again, despite the two or three checkpoints which you'll encounter on each mission, seemingly there only to alleviate the tedium a little by offering an update on the score. It's genuinely baffling and massively dumb. Switching to the easiest difficulty level means you'll avoid this by respawning almost immediately, but it'd be both more challenging and pleasurable to see how many watsits you can fit under your eyelids before you suffer total cheese blindness. Well, I'm up for cheese blindness rather than playing this. Uh, and how did Meta do? Meta score is 42, which is uh, close. It's close to yellow. It's a big red 42, but 50 is like the midway where bad red games turn to average yellow games. There were a few bad reviews here. Gaming Nexus gave this a zero out of 100. There's no reason to buy G.I. Joe. Oh, thanks for uh, renewing or becoming a new member off world. High five. Uh, no, there's no reason to buy G.I. Joe as long as, uh, as long as there is at least one other game on the store shelf, says Gaming Nexus. Gamers Temple gave it a 32 out of 100. G.I. Joe, The Rise of the Cobra, the video game is just plain awful. Whatever you do, though, don't let me stop you from seeing the movie. You'll love it. I've never seen the movie either. I don't think I'll, uh, I'd like it, probably. I don't know, maybe I will. Uh, Console Monster gave it a 36 out of 100. Just, just wrote disappointing. There is an incredibly high-scoring review from Play Magazine, which gave this an 80 out of 100. It's not without its flaws, but Joe manages to pack in plenty of third-person, fast-paced, arcade-flavored fun. Addictive co-op, power-ups galore, and thumb-numbing action make it much more a modern-day Contra than another lame licensed effort. If they hadn't have said then another lame licensed effort at the end, I'd have almost thought that was PR babble just typed into a review, but... 80 out of 100, that's far higher than any other website gave this game. User reviews, uh, Ulysses Barbosa says, Amazing how a game like this was released. Even on older platforms like PS2, this would be considered a lame effort. A SNES game could provide you more fun. Bad design, bad levels, bad sound. Bad controlling, and first of all, bad moat? I don't know what that means. It's not worthy of your money, your time, or even a peak. A waste of the franchise. Thumbs down. That was one out of a hundred. LL says, the worst next-gen game I have ever played. Well, next-gen. This game has no reason to be purchased or even be on display. But then Eborf says, uh, 8 out of 10. I read the reviews online and I thought to myself, I really want to see how bad it is. So I started playing... Please bear in mind, I'm not a G.I. Joe fan. Uh, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Well, it's strong on the negatives, but there are a couple of outliers. So maybe I'll be an outlier by the end of this. Who knows? Um, I, I, I'll probably review this higher than OBS Streamlabs, though. 
Um, right. Which uh, it's got, it's get, it gets in a void for me after today's travesty. Uh, thanks to Battle Gareth, Dragon Brother, and Gavin. And uh, that's it. Chatting on YouTube, uh, Twitch at the moment. Who have we got chatting on YouTube? We've got Off World Agar, Raihan, Dom, WE, A1, T2, Elvis, Press Play, Gavin, K86, J, Dovey, AK, Marvelous Jacket Man, Jimbo, Kate, Lily, Keaton, Bellaston, Lady Shywolf, Martin, Stunenberg, Phil, Tyler, Rainer Watt, Silver Comet, Silver Salamence, Spider Man, 2899, Winner, 64 Bits, and Zaid Mandel. And 103 people on YouTube, 7 on Twitch. Let's get it on. Let's new game this. Uh, the guy with the goatee. I've been reliably informed by the chat is Channing Tatum. Um, I don't know who the rest of the, the actors are. Did I get a chance to put this on easy then? Did that, I just I wasn't paying attention, but here we go. The world's bluest opening cutscene. Um, that that's some that's some winter wildlife. It's a winter thunderland. Ooh, it's a dead robot. So I'm not, when I was a kid, I was into Star Wars, Thundercats, and He-Man. I didn't give a fuck about G.I. Joe Rise of the, G.I. Joe, I didn't care. A few of my friends had G.I. Joe models, like the big ones with the weird felt hair, but never into G.I. Joe, so I don't know anything about it. For youbs, except for um, the baddies of Cobra. Holy shit, that that's um, in the thing of the bad guy. from Inner Space. Joe's, let me introduce you to Dr. Adam Burkhart. We'll be working that's with him to a take fairly Mars good down. face After years model. Of being forced against my will to design Mars weaponry at their ice pack base. I'm glad to finally be free to help. Oh, glad they got uh, the AI voice to read that one out. I'm glad. To help. You look bored without anybody to shoot, Baroness. You need some reading material? What I need is already here. Anastasia Baroness de Cobre. I'm gonna guess that the, that lady is the baddie. What the? <laughs> what the? I love a good what the? Heavy duty! These. These cutscenes are pretty basic, like, they're kind of PS2 era cutscenes, but at the same time they're not, like, terrible. There's a lot of screen tearing in them. Channing Tatum looks a little bit like Channing Tatum. I don't know who generic redhead is. Vagina? Looks like an angry vagina with teeth at the top. Oh, it's a cobra. I knew that. Uh, yeah, G.I. Joe, uh, Action Man is the UK version of G.I. Joe. Same kind of thing, just rebranded. Like um, Starburst and Opal Fruits, I think. Um, yeah, so, here we go. Um, missions, media, battle files. It's battle files. So, we can find out about... Wait, is this guy not called Joe? It's called Conrad Duke Hauser. Is he not called G.I. Joe? Scarlet. Okay. None of them are called G. No, no. Where, who's Joe? That where the fuck is Joe? I've been been missold this video game. I wanted to play G.I. Joe, not unknown Duke. Ooh. Movies. What are these? Oh, piss. No. What's this then? Credits? What? Did I press the same button again? Yeah, there's bloody credits. It's the bloody credits. Um, I don't want to see the credits. I thought maybe there'd be uh, a trailer for the film or something. Maybe I'll unlock that as a, a collectible. Uh, or maybe I'll unlock an advert for the film. Or book tie-ins or something like that stupid dragon game, Aragon. Uh, options. Here we go. Video audio. 
Subtitles on. It's got subtitles. That's a good start. Difficulty level casual, advanced, hardcore. Okay. Welcome to the ranks, Joes. Take it to them, Joes. Or, whoa, good luck, Joes. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, welcome to the ranks. That'll do me. And then... Can I... Uh, invert anything? I don't know. Sod it. Who cares? Okay. Team roster. So I can either have Duke or Scarlet. Or both. Preferably both. It's a co-op game, I guess. Missions. Alright. Arctic. Arctic. Ours. Ours. <laughs> Tee <-hee. coughs> Right. Uh, okay. With heavy duty captured, it's up to Duke and Scarlet to scour Bear's Paw Canyon in search of their fellow Joe. Oh, they're all Joe. Oh. That, okay. G.I. Joe is an all-encompassing thing, right? I get it. It's like a club they're in. That's cute. They'll face heavy opposition from Mars Industries. Wait, what about Cobra? Game difficulty set to casual. Is this correct? Yup. <clears throat> we prefer the working Joes, don't we, says uh, Gavin. Hell yeah, we do. Ian can find the butt content in any game, says Claire T-Rex. Yes, I definitely can. Uh, especially in VR Elden Ring. If you haven't seen my uh, Ian's VR Corner with Elden Ring VR, you should check that out. Very cool mod that brings VR first person to Elden Ring. Plus, I got to find... <laughs> hey, Ziggy, mem use their member message wisely to say lolas. Um... I've been sitting over this side for quite a lot recently, so maybe I should move the alert box to the other side of the screen so people can see. Uh, yeah, um, Ian's VR Corner. Canyon, I found out that Mars Torrent has a butthole. Codename Genesis is about 20 clicks to your north. When I was held hostage and forced to work for Mars, I had access to much of their operation beyond the ice pack. This facility has been How come this guy's cartoon drawing and the other guy... Was the other the guy a fight? Maybe it wasn't. A -safe so that any accidents involving the metal-eating nanomites would only destroy the facility and not... All due respect, Doctor. I'm not on the mood for a history lesson right now. Stow it, Duke. Sir, I believe what Duke is saying is that we should be trying to track Heavy Duty and Baroness. The Mars facility... Uh... No, I'm not giving you any hint for this. Any hints for this week's old and wrong off world. Maybe closer to the time, but uh, I think you'll find it'll be great. I think, I'm, yeah, I think everyone will enjoy it. I missed all of that heavy exposition. Who were all these people talking? So. Find the outpost, find heavy duty. Looks that way. Better double time it before they move him to another location. Thanks, Stalker. Duke, now, ready to move out? It is a, it, it, Torrance Butt is an e, it's a Eurogamer exclusive to Claire T Rex. It, it actually is. It actually is. Um, and Gavin's done a link to the Elden Ring VR thing. Uh, if you want to check that out after this stream, he's done it on Twitch and YouTube. Oh, what a lovely, lovely kind friend. Um, right, uh, what was I going to do? Okay, yeah, I wanted to Google quickly before we start. Um, G.I. Joe, right? I want to know if... I don't think that's Channing Tatum's voice. I think they've got his likeness, but not his voice. But... Uh... I don't know for sure because I don't know what Channing Tatum sounds like. It just seemed a bit too generic. I mean, if that's his voice, then unlocks uh, get, uh, Xbox cast. Voice over cast. Here we go. What's his name? Duke, wasn't it? Uh, voice over cast. 
Roger Craig Smith. Okay, well that's why uh, I thought he sounded like a generic voiceover actor because Roger Craig Smith is a very generic voiceover actor who's done a lot of roles. He's been Ezio. He's been Chris Redfield. He's been many more. Definitely sounded like he was phoning in those lines, though. Right. Where's my comments gone again? There we go. Okay, here we go. Right. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That's... <laughs> this is a bit like playing a mobile game. Look at this little running animation. It's kind of cute and stupid. I mean, he does kick up some snow behind him and leave a little bit of a trail, but... I mean, that's... That's a bit weird Look and out, shit. Turrets. No problem, Scarlet. Just point and shoot until they're all chewed into scrap. Okay, how do fire? Is that... Wait, how am I firing? Oh, I, I changed the... Wait, what? Oh, I can change characters. I'm not sure how I'm doing it yet. There we go. L1 changes to um, lady. R1 changes back to man. Um, it's kind of like a twin stick shooter of them, I guess. But... Not top down and not fun. Looks like they're trying to block the road, dude. Looks like they're trying to block the road. Okay, Joe, cover. Oh no, it's a cover That's shooter as well. You can also vault over cover and take the fight straight With the Evil Dead game coming out this week, is there any chance there will be a stream on EG or here, says DCC0209 on um, a Super Chat? Um, that's a good question. Yes, we are planning on doing an Evil Dead stream. Uh, don't know nice what day we're going to do it yet. We've asked for review code um, to see if we can like stream it like a day before release. But if not, we'll definitely stream it on Friday on the day it releases. What the fuck? And destroy their cover as quickly as possible. Excellent, Braver. So, my AI character didn't follow me then, and I accidentally pressed um, swap character instead of shoot gun, which is something I think I'm going to be doing a lot. And it took me all the way back to my AI character who hadn't bothered following. That was brilliantly so stupid. That's what happens when you're pumped full of performance-enhancing, mind-controlling nanomites. Well, that's an excellent way to get over the fact that you're making the bodies fade away. A black viper file card found. Whoop, 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 whoop. You can't change the camera angle at all. The camera is just... It points wherever it wants you to look. And instead of green-brown, we've got blue-grey-brown bl today. Get up close and personal. Those shields won't do squat against good old fashioned fisticuffs. Anyone else got this game you can join, lol, says Phil Tyler. I actually don't think this game has online co op. I, I believe it is just couch co op. Okay, so I have to punch the shields of these, um, these angry lads, and then I can shoot them down. And we get those fonts up the top for the score and stuff. They're very intrusive. Like um, something from out of a shit arcade machine. <laughs> Cobra! Be sure to coordinate your attacks. Targeting the same enemy is a great strategy for taking off tougher enemies. Okay. Uh, manually select the targets using the right thumbstick. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. It's a bit clunky, the controls, but I see what they're doing. That's as good an explanation as in Fortnite, says Alexander Hansen. 
Okay, this is a Joe checkpoint station. Your progress is being recorded at this time. Players will lock in their current point total at every checkpoint. So, uh, this is pointless, these checkpoints. Uh, because if you die, you start the whole level from the beginning again, allegedly. Okay, checkpoint three, blah, blah, blah. Uh, battle points, meow. Progress is not automatically saved at checkpoints. Players will need to finish the mission to lock in their score and secure all the battle points earned. So, yeah, what is the point? Except for to take a break from the really shit gameplay. <clears throat> Cobra! Mate, Scarlet needs to start pulling her weight. Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, maybe it's just because I'm playing in solo. I'm, I'm sure Scarlet got at least one kill. Data indicating a prisoner Breaker? To a location just ahead of you. That's gotta be heavy duty. Duty. Breaker. Duke and I, will secure the area. I did a heavy duty this morning. Down after away. all the uh, pork knock I ate in Germany. <laughs> Nobody else can go. Would want to. Stalker. Don't want to hang out with him. Um, Check it out. There's so many I'm different characters. I thought those were just prototypes. Okay, he Breaker seems to be like maybe some kind of hacker guy. So there should be a power supply nearby. Like a tech tech guy. Let's look for the power supply. I'm gonna guess it's down here. The characters are like almost like they sliding across the floor like they're on ice skates. Press circle to perform a special attack. <laughs> Whoa! Firing in the wrong direction. Special attack for Duke is grenades. Is this the right way? Whoa! Big gun. Oh, ho, ho. Duke got absolutely mullered. Let's fire a grenade in there. Whoa! I mean, I want Duke on my side in a battle if he can survive two missiles to the face. There's a couple of generators up ahead. Take them out, and I bet the shield will go down. <laughs> Little characters look so derpy when they run around. Is that. Come here, points. Okay, one generator down. Nice. One more generator to go. Tunnel rack. It's like the worst code name. The hey, I'm Breaker. I'm Punchy McPunchface. I'm Tunnel Rat. You'd be gutted if someone gave you Tunnel Rat as a code name. That tactic be Might as well be called Mole Man. It's been forever since I had Knockwurst. Stupid spouse doesn't like it. All the whole grain mustard, says Kate Lily. No. I didn't have any Knockwurst in Japan. Uh, Germany. Or Japan. Um, I did have a little bit of curry first. And because uh, we were in Cologne, I had a lot of Kolsch. What's Triangle do? Oh, shit. I just activated the... Of Joe Power <laughs> by accident. Whoa! That was the most exciting power up I've ever heard. <laughs> Surprise, there wasn't one with the code name of Pewy McPew Pew, says Raider One. Pewy McPew Pew. Is the sort of code name that I'd I'd be given, I reckon. Okay, wow. X of L. Those unmanned turrets can chew up your body armor fast. Oh. Make it a priority to take them down first when clearing an area. Okay. And special grenade. go. I employed the cover mechanics and everything. Okay, so I don't have my Joe powers ready yet. Zoom, zoom. This game has a color palette of five colors. Why not lock onto the barrel then? 
<laughs> Excellent. Okay. I found it. It's giant. I yeah, that's wow. Could you have a bigger door panel? Whoa. We're going into Jabba's Palace. That was an experience as dog party guy, I presume is referencing the Joe Power. Joe Power appears to be a bigger orchestra stolen from a larger budget cowboy film, says Dragon Botherer. Yes indeed. Okay. Mid level checkpoint. We've narrowed down your target's location. What do you mean we? Dial tone! Oh, Stow it, dial tone. <laughs> In spite of Breaker's constant Why is she called dial tone? I, I presume because she's communications, but that just... Me. Like, dial tones are like... Boo! Boo! Now. Boring you noises. Like, at least be like, like I don't know... Crackles. Or, I don't know, static. Or something like that. That's cooler than dial tone. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a hacker How character about called Clickety Clack next. Okay. I'm, I'm an explosives expert. They call me okay, Bloom Blooms. <laughs> ah shit! Get up, buddy! I'm back up. I wasn't paying attention there. I was trying to think up a naff nickname for an explosives technician and. There's just, there's only really cool nicknames. She's the sound of an angry dial-up modem. <coughs> maybe her name is really Diana Tone, says Alexander Hansen. Oh, maybe. I should be able to hack the system and open up Okay, the I'm just picking up stuff, but I'm not reading what it is. I don't know if it's some kind of concept art collectibles or just nonsense. One day I'll learn to read and all this shit will make sense finally. We have you now. now. Alright, Star Wars. Like, the camera, like, all the enemies are behind me, but the camera won't let me look at them. So I'm just getting my ass handed to me. What? Show me the enemies. Okay, they're all excellent. Shoot this tree box. Uh, okay. right. What? Did you just spawn out? Hey! <laughs> wow, there was literally no impact noise from that melee attack. Did you just dissolve into a green fart as well? Can I go this way? Nope, there's no point going in that direction. I. Who programmed this camera? Mr. Beam. Chuffity, chuffity. What did he say? The oh, I, th I think he said it's the Joes, but for a s I didn't read the subtitles. And um, for a second I thought he said it's the Chodes. <laughs> wow. Okay, harsh, but fair. What was this? Explosions everywhere. Well, I got some points. And point you know what points mean? Prizes. Wait, I pressed triangle to interact. Am I gonna oh I gotta hold it. Alright, fine. Nice job, Jules. Thanks. Also, That's Joe. Strong data encryption. Give me a minute to hack it. Stay alert while dial tone works. The guy whose speciality was Arctic environments was called Snowjob, and he came with skis, says Elvis Pressplay. Is that... is that real? That sounds not real, but also... I wouldn't be surprised if it was with some of these bloody names. Okay, I've got my, uh, I've got my Super Joe power ready. What the... what the... I just kind of clipped through the scenery. Up to his knees. Bow chicka wow, wow, it's Black Widow. <laughs> I didn't Wait, how did you escape? So soon. I'm changing the rules. Did I miss Watch something again? 
Whoa. Snow job is quite real, says Alexander Hansen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what Channing Tatum's going to look like when he's dead. Ready to fight? You ever wondered what your corpse would look like? Well, Channing Tatum now knows. Okay, I'm destroying the piss, the piss tank. Okay, here we go. Yo, yo! Boom! I got special rockets. I can fire them from... Whoa! Piece of hiss. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his little arms going. Joe, <laughs> dial tone here. I cracked the encryption on that terminal you activated. The good news is, I think we just rescued Heavy Duty. I'm opening the gate right now. Okay, so what's the bad news? Well, I kind of managed to gain access to their entire network for a few seconds. It looks like they've captured Ripcord. And maybe some others. They're holding them at a site flagged Genesis Detention Center. Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I'm mad. Let's move out. I'm bringing Ripcord home. Delay that, Duke. You and Scarlet did a great job recovering heavy duty. Now I need you to fall <laughs> back to the mobile pit so you can regroup and rearm. Hawk out. So the link that you've put in the chat, Gavin, for Snowjob just says there's currently no text in this page. So I don't think... I don't know whether the link was fucked or... What the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> is he coming? Okay. Contact found. Heavy duty. Chuffy, chuffy, chuffy. Oh, I got one eagle. Oh. One eagle. Okay. Right. Intel found two out of two battle files. For oh, I found one contract, but I missed two of the battle files. <laughs> Sloppy Joe. Brilliant. Sloppy Joe, Average Joe, Super Joe, or G.I. Joe. Well, that was the first level done. Um, it's pretty bad, but I'm not bored off my tits or, like, just getting made incredibly angry by it. It's just uh, just on the right side of stupid that I, we can take the piss out of it for a bit. Oh, was there supposed to be a closing bracket on the end of the link? Let's add that on. Oh, there we go. Snow job, rah. Wow, he was ginger. Snow job. What the fuck? He's not simply called Snowjob because he... Oh, fuck's sake. Page updated with the video at the top. Uh, he's not simply called Snowjob because he wears skis. He's a con man, plain and simple. Have we got any... Uh, f well, that's uh, trivia. Oh, underneath trivia it just says right up. So I, I guess... They they need to they need to add some trivia for snow job. <coughs> okay, right. Congratulations. Did a mission. Does this mean now I can this team the team roster lists all unlocked an active Joe's. Okay, so I'm gonna stay with Duke, aka Conrad Hauser. Oh, I need to unlock... Oh, I can. I can unlock him for battle points. Here we go. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe! Do they all say stuff? No. Okay. Saving. There's some quite long save times on this. I'm playing on the original PlayStation 3, as uh, I always do with these. Sam Pete is member for two months. Says, hi, Ian. Hope you and Laura... Uh, you got Laura loads of lovely stuff for her birthday. Also... Laura didn't get herself more cats as a birthday gift. Yes, I'm glad 
for lording itself any more cats for a birthday gift. Very glad indeed. Um, but yeah, I got loads of stuff. Mountains of gifts. All right, Arctic. Ars Wait, what? Oh, okay. They're both Arctic asses. One's Foundation and one is Genesis. Mars has captured Ripcord. Wait a minute, has Mars captured the entire G.I. Joe army? They can't be that good if they've all been captured. Uh, Ripcord is holding them in their, in, in their detention center. Secure the installation's perimeter. So Ripcord, I guess, is going to be like aerial assault guy, maybe. Uh, we're going to go for heavy duty. Duke and Duty, yeah. Duke and Duty sounds like some kind of cop show. All right, here we go. Oh, something right behind. No job Yoink. behind enemy lines. It's just discovered that Ripcord is being held in a facility codenamed Genesis north of your position. It's time to bring Ripcord home. They said it in the game! <laughs> I thought he was just some kind of shitty character that they had in the comic books that no one ever talked about anymore. Snow job is marked areas where you can signal for Joe support. <laughs> Snow job! Oh fuck, I hope we see Snowjob. So what this game needs is like more Snowjob. Okay, it's got a big good punch in him that heavy duty. That is a big gun up there. Can I fire a special at it? Yeah, accurate. Accurately grenaded that gun. There we go. Is that the air defense is gone? No. A few more. When I first was um, loading this up before the stream started, I was like, who are the baddies? Is it Venom? But it's not. Venom is Mask, isn't it? Mask was another toy line I really liked as a kid. Oh, no, I just fired a grenade at a barrel. I want to fire it up there. Go. Yeah. Big shooty bang noises in this. Some of them. Do, do I need to do anything with this green circle here? Does Channing Tate need to move his potato head into it at all? Use support. Oh. You're clear for weapons free, Wildfield. Oh shit. Whoa! That was fucking hell, that guy got overkilled. Jesus. I should have whoops. I really need to pay attention to the writing ever. I was too busy slack jawed about snow job. That snow job being slack jawed helps a lot. Go behind cover. Why? Oh. I do. Oh, there we go. Oh, big hits. There we go. There's a medal around there. There's another one over here. Oh, man. Gotta have okay. snow drops in this game, probably. Destroy them! I want to hear him say, it is I, Snow Job, with a, stra with a straight face. There we go. Points. Okay, that is, wow. We're just tearing up the scenery here. Do, do, do. Here we go. First checkpoint. Can you switch to heavy duty? Says Keaton Bellaston. Yes, I can. Uh, I will do that. I should have 
tried a little bit of Scarlet as well, but I got annoyed with um, accidentally changing characters at the beginning because change characters is up here and shoot is down here. And so I was like, fuck. So I, need, I was kind of concentrating on keeping my fingers on the actual triggers. Let's be, let's do some heavy duty. Oh. Looks like these mass security troops got issued shotguns instead of force fields. Oh. Well, I'll just shoot them from a distance then. Well, this is a pretty decent gun. It, 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 the game chugs quite a bit. Like, the frame rate is... Come <laughs> it's, it's not exactly the smoothest of experiences. It's jabbed in. Okay. Why is the camera looking over there? Let's get the medal. Okay, I'm going to try heavy duty secret superpower. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that's pretty decent. Ahead, Joes. Watch out for the turrets. Dig in behind cover and blast them when you can. It's no job out. <laughs> <laughs> so no job out. What the fuck? I'm almost disappointed that you lot told me about Snow Job before he popped up because I reckon if that had happened without me knowing about it, I'd have had a little. I would have had a meltdown. No team, job. This is no job. <laughs> we'll be providing tactical support as long as you're out in the cold. Ooh. Well, I bet you will. Snow jobs well up for blasting through an arsenal. Over there. Have I passed two checkpoints yet? Let's Yo yo! Fucking activating the this power up literally just yeah gives the orchestra amphetamines or something. What? Okay. Wall defenses destroyed. There they go. Whee! Little tiny pals. Blasting through an arsenal. <laughs> this is Kate Lily. Damn straight. Ooh! Eagle. The guy who voices Snowjob has barely done anything else. I wonder why, <laughs> says Gavin. Because you've peaked. Once you've become Snowjob, you've peaked. Joe's, data frame here. Whoa, data frames got quite fields, the headgear. The I think I had headgear like that when I was uh, when I had braces in school. Ooh. Scanning. What's this say? Mars defense wall file card. Found. Yeah, I've got no. Uh, no specials. You're welcome. I think I've got a special now. Let's use it on this. Heavy Duty's pretty good. He's no Duke generic. Can I shoot the... No. Okay. Generate as it is. <laughs> My character's just going to town on that wall. What's that wall ever done to you? Why are you doing that? What's wrong with that wall? Are you... Who trained you? Mr. Magoo? There you go. Now I'm shooting walls. Blow up. Where to go, Jules? Thank you. Is this the right way now? I don't. Oh, I guess maybe it is, but. Yeah. <laughs> Bleb. I'm kind of. I just want to see how. Like. Okay. I want to see how much room for exploration there is in this game. Like, has this opened now or anything? No. Just incidental scenery. 
Just incidental scenery. How many G.I. Joe films have there been? Has there been just one or, or more? Let's have a look. G.I. Joe movies. Sorry for, sorry for pausing the gameplay. I got curious. There was G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra from 2009, which is what this film is based on. Then, in 2013, there was G.I. Joe Retaliation. And then, in 2021, right, which was this. last year, the go? there was G.I. Joe Snake Eyes? And then, there's another one, which hasn't been released yet, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't have a release date on it. The original title was... It was originally slated to release in March 2020. It's been pushed back because of COVID. That's got... My mission Dwayne is Johnson and you Bruce Willis chance. in it. Uh, it's called G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant. Uh, and then G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Yeah, that came out in 2021. Didn't even didn't even know. Wouldn't have even known if it hadn't have come out. Uh, Snake Eyes is a spin-off, if this I recall correctly. Says our guy Ryan. Holding. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit. This way. To be honest, I think this first movie was best, but none of them are that good. Doodle -doodle. Did you not watch Snake Eyes? I watched the Nicolas Cage Snake Eyes, if that's what you're referring to. Sir. Sorry to interrupt. What is it, Breaker? But I didn't watch G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Found after the raid. I've been poking at it. Anyway, it's a transmitter. Some really weird math. Lots of predictive calculations. Oh. It just doesn't make sense. It's talking to some kind of relay satellite. Balgaris says, I thought Bruce Willis had retired, not knowing how the past works. <laughs> he, they filmed it before the pandemic, so it was probably one of his last roles. Shouldn't be long before we find something out. All right, Breaker. Let us know when you've got a handle on things. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh, is this the way to go? No, oh, no, I've got to vault over this pointless lock. I mean, one thing I can say about this game is that they don't mess around with the music. It, it definitely adds to the atmosphere. Makes things seem a little bit more exciting. The past was the worst as gaming WBs. It's part of a teleportation device. Shut up. has been using these teleporters to move equipment. What? So we got teleporters. The only catch with this hack is that we have to displace approximately the same amount Phone of Phone calls are just overqualified jump scares. That's the most so amazing username I've seen in ages. Uh, phone calls are just overqualified jump scares. Says the position of that minigun, though. Yeah, he's definitely holding it in uh, quite a penisy area. Oh, what's that? Top legitimate G.I. Joe character names. DJ, Tollbooth, Ice Cream Soldier, Bazooka, and I say again, Skidmark. Fuck. That's amazing. Skidmark. Man, some of these G.I. Joes are just unlucky. What am I doing? Oh, I can teleport in. All right, let's, let's teleport in Scarlet and take Scarlet for a ride. Wait, what? You've got to give me ten usable characters by Monday, and no sex jokes this time, says Elvis Presley. They failed. Now, depending on the door, you can get through with the skills and equipment of either a combat soldier, a heavy, or a commando. Just get a close look at the door, and it should be easy to tell which class of joke can open it. I just got rid of my heavy, didn't I? Gonna need a heavy C4 God. charge to blow this door's lock. Damn it! Are you a heavy? 
gonna need a heavy God damn it. charge to blow this door's lock. Piss off, Duke. Alright. Okay, we're going for Scarlet and Heavy Duty. Alright, have you got it? Okay, there we go. That's very annoying. At least his backpack's in HD. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? Snake Eyes location intel found. Hey! Joe's, we There's found a movie the about that. Research bio lab. I'm sending Snake Eyes out to do some recon for you. You'll probably never see him, but Shoot. then again, neither will the enemy. <laughs> Still that snow job. You have unlocked the bonus Arctic mission. Upon completion of this level, you can play Operation Arctic Ooze. Maybe I'll get to control Snow Job. Uh, I like the way Scarlet here has uh, Chewbacca's bowcaster. Zoom, zoom, it's quite nippy. What's Scarlet's power? Whoa. Couldn't see what it was because the camera doesn't give a fuck what I want to look at. But uh, it seemed quite explosive. Let's try again. Whoa! The really badly animated darts. Destroy them. Destroy Where are these fucking freaks coming from? That's one done. There we go. Bad guys could be anywhere. Bad guys could be anywhere. You're right. That's the kind of thinking, forward thinking, that got you a place on the G.I. Joe squad. Here you go, kick that person, turn them into some farts. Ooh. Have a shit dart, there we go. Boink. Ooh, that, was, that was incredibly powerful. Can I get what's up there? It was points. Points mean prizes. My mission is to shoot the bad guy. <laughs> Fair. Keep it simple, why not? Maybe Heavy Duty gets confused. Okay, uh, Data. Phone call, woman. You've got to infiltrate the enemy communications and download classified intel. Duke, you've got a commando in stealthily and um, take out the three generals heavy duty just smash just smash shit is that us it's no job oh yeah get in the vehicle let me in snow job Whoa! Guns! I like that this vehicle Destroy looks it. like it could be a, a shit toy from the 80s. Put him down. You it's can't win. hard as Put fuck to... Down. Put them down. Hey, what are you... Destroy them. There we go. Nope, I thought I'd killed it. Uh -huh. Why would I want to shoot at the rocks? Why can't I pick up the metal? There we go. So, come on. No, not the wall. Why would you make the walls? Tower destroyed. One of three. Reverse. You can't win. Stop them. How did, who's tell is there some is there someone from the Cobras like sat in the back of my car slagging me off change your targeting I, no matter what I do it just seems to target whatever it wants to there we go compliments of GI Joe there's another medal up here. 
I think you'll find I can win because I'm playing this on casual, so. Oh, now to wrestle with the controls. Okay, that's, that's doing it. Slowly but surely. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a transformer from the energy online with that vehicle. There's an alt mode. He's called Snowcat. Ah. It's the snow. It's the GI Joe Transformers crossover. Not another step. Snow it's job. Sitting inside Snowcat. Yeah. Secrets. What is this? Joe tanks. Thanks, Joe. Still has files on the equipment sold to GI Joe. Well, knowing is how to die. I can't believe you really went there. Wowzers. Wowzers. Oh. Come on. I am authorized to use lethal force. Oh, mate, I'm. I don't think whoever's driving this, aka me, has a pass their driving test. <laughs> I got he was still talking after I shot him to death with the rocket. Just blast the power coils. When they light up, they'll send a power surge through the system. Power coils will power back down after a bit of time has passed, unless the entire linked grid of them are activated. So when you activate them, hurry up and charging up the rest. Good idea, dial tone. To give the control console enough juice to open the doors. Give it a try, Joe. Okay, I shall give it a try. Let me kill everyone first, though. Huh? Okay. Getting all the collectibles. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, that thing doesn't reverse. There we go. Turn. Okay. Are we shooting these things? Okay. And then I need to shoot the other one. Is the one here? Cobra! I don't know! Yes, it worked. Oh, I guess I need to get out. How do I get out? There we go. All right, press, press that button. There we go. Whoop! I don't think you'll need to. We killed pretty much everyone, pronto. I think. All right, we're gonna go and find Ripcord. Dennis Quaid. That's the, who that guy is. Checkpoint three of three. Was that the level done? Scarlet 69. No oh, you ruined it, video game. Ruined it. What? Yeah, nice. Super Joe again. No contacts found. Okay, that's fine. I missed a battle file, but I got all the intel. Bonus mission unlocked. Concept art unlocked. Nice. Well, unlocking some shit. The gameplay in this is really boring, um, but this is elevating this game above, like, mega dull shit because of the stupidness of the voice acting and the script and the character names. If it was, like, you know anything else apart from G.I. Joe with its silly names and pre 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 preposterous ideas then um, I think it would be super dull uh, assault Cobra's biolab and destroy their research as you gather intel on the operation I, the arctic levels are getting a bit boring that one looks like it might be inside a building I do want to I want to check out no, okay. I thought maybe 
with the bonus level, I'd get to play a snow job, but I don't. So I'm just going to continue with the main missions. It'll be Duke and go Scarlet. There we go. Duke and Scarlet. Yours. Get snow job to give a tug on his rip cord, says Gavin. <laughs> Jones, Whoa. Dr. Burkhardt is on the line. Oh. Hello, Jones. This facility is called Genesis. We were developing microscopic nanomite technology. <laughs> Look at his face. The ripcord's here. I'd say it's become a high-tech prison. Clear the line, Breaker. He looks like he's wearing a plastic John Cena mask. I don't like the look of this place. Hawk out. This is why the camera is normally quite far away from the characters, I guess. Let's have a look at the wall designs. Okay, they're very low res and generic. I mean, this interior here could be. Taken from any shit Terraflops action game. It's better looking than that Thor game. That Thor game I did was absolute toss. And the um, work. Whoopsie. What was the, uh, the Fantastic Four as well? It's better looking than Fantastic Four by miles. Fantastic Four was. Oh, Look at that cutscene for Fantastic Four. I've never seen anything like it. Points mean prizes. Interact. Whoa. It's a trap. Take it's a trap. Alright. No. There's, this game relies on generic turret enemies quite a lot. Which is kind of Dullsville, USA. I do, I do like their weird death squeals of this afternoon. My health is low. Just a bit longer. Yeah, let's just beat fuck out of him instead. And my health's back up now. It's amazing how uh, how much of how punching a guy's chin off has such great healing properties. Yas. Yep. We sure are. No thanks to you lot. There's so many of them just back at base watching on the telly. Why can't we all? Surely this would be easier if we all came along. Yeah. Ow. Am I supposed to be doing something? No, there we go. Okay, I just had to wait and defeat all the enemies. Good. Now let's move out. Oh, it's Spider-Man. No, it's Deadpool. Okay, I won't. I have no idea where they are now, thanks to the camera. I think one of them died. Did the wall explode? It does. Okay, they died off screen somewhere. They went back to their home planet. Interact. Oh, I can do it this time. Didn't need a heavy. Now we've got some intel. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I just. Whoa! Cobra nanomite intel found. <laughs> Oop. This information is critical to my nanomite research. Good find, Jules. You're welcome. Wow. Just 
grenading fools now. It's mindless, absolutely mindless. Wait. Cut! Oh, did that? He nearly called me something rude. Fun fact, Duke Ripcord and Scarlet did not return to the, for the sequel and were killed off in the first 20 minutes. Only Channing Tatum appeared on screen. Oh my god. They killed him off. Ah, sorry, Joe, sorry. I accidentally triggered the alarm trying to hook into the building's network. Ah, oh, you if fucking you can hold boob. down the fort for just a couple of minutes. Minutes? I can get us back to normal. I just need to disable these firewalls. More work. Okay, but just change it. Yes, sir. Changing targets is a pain in the ass. Thankfully, on easy, I can just point them. Oh, whatever the game fucking wants. We need to shoot at because. It definitely doesn't point at what I wanted to shoot at. Sometimes it does point at what I'm holding my thumbstick towards and then it just changes direction anyway. Just to be a bit. Oh shit! Didn't mean to press that button. Goopy doopy dooby doo doo doo. Oh well. Uh, uh, that was that was very exciting. Maybe I can't open this door until all the enemies have gone. Any more? Second firewall down. Sweet. I hold this area for quite some time. Just a bit longer. It really is an excellent way to not have to make any more level designs. see all these Cobra Commandos not only went to the same military school, but they went to the same voice line school as well. They keep saying the same shit. Uh, why did you look that way then when I... Piss off. Go. Okay, defeat all enemies is complete. I'm digging through these Cobra guys' network cables here. I think your problem might be that there are a couple of computer consoles that aren't connected to the network. Oh, got it. Think, or you're sure? I don't know. I'm not the tech guy, now am I? I don't know what you do. I can't access these consoles through the main Cobra network. That would explain why I can't get to Ripcord. Those, find and destroy those terminals. Why can't I just plug a LAN cable in the back of them? That that normally works when mine aren't connected to the network. So maybe I, maybe this isn't the door I'm supposed to be able to go in. It looked like it, but I've got no prompts to do so. Take them. There's lots of uh, teleporters. I don't know if I'm going to be going this way. Once again, I was paying. Little to no attention. Ooh. I need a new game to play. I, I, I platinumed old uh, Ghost Wire Tokyo. And uh, I've not got anything to play. I think um, I might stream some Elden Ring VR on this channel uh, this week, either tomorrow or Thursday. Go on a bit of a, like a tourism, a little bit of a jaunt around the lands between, um, taking some sights. Oops! Definitely didn't want to press that button again. That was supposed to be my grenade button. 
least we've got some funky music while I interact with this terminal. I did beat Dying Light to uh, DCC. I beat that. Um, probably about... It wasn't that much longer after I recorded the review chat with Aoife. So not long after release. Um, I need to... I guess I could try and get back into play, but... Um, I've completely lost my place with it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing with it. Or I could get back into Cyberpunk as well, I guess. I've really enjoyed parts of Cyberpunk, but also just snoozing through a lot of it. Or See you later. I could just avoid all the enemies. I could, should have just done that straight away, walked out the door. Uh, okay. Holy fuck, we're in the Death Star. But we don't bump into Kylo Ren having a tantrum. What's in here? Secrets? Secrets. What the fuck? Why would, I, why would I have wanted to aim at those? Stupid video game. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, they're sneaking. Fools. Oh. Yeah, alright. Yeah, you use those swords against me and my guns. And my grenades. No wonder he thinks we're irritating. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Um, I'm afraid I can't read your name. But uh, thanks for subscribing anyway. Oh, I've been stunned. This, this gun's cut, his swords can't even cut me up. They could just make me sleepy or something. Guy, if you died on this level, on this boss, you're going to have to do the entire level again. It would. I definitely never want to play this game again. This guy's a bullet sponge. Oh. Ouch. I don't know what character I am. Here we go. Oh. Pew pew. Have some arrows. <laughs> it's this vanished. Grows tiresome. Vah! It's just noped out of there. This guy's ass kicked and then he's like, oh yeah, no. I'm yeah, you're actually boring me. Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Video games all need a recap option for after you've been away for a while. They definitely do, Keaton Belliston. They definitely do. Uh, 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 uh. Storm Shadow File Card Found. Oh, another excellent cutscene. What a treat! <laughs> yes! I fucking. Who did they mocap for that? A toddler at a birthday party. What the fuck? Ripcord. Jones, we got word on some more of the relay satellite transmissions. I've been working with Diatome. Yo. <laughs> I? Yo. She's sorted out more relay satellite records. Looks like this mass device the Baroness mentioned is the teleportation device she used for her disappearing act. Oh. There have been several hundred mass transmissions into the deserts outside Cairo, Egypt. Oh. I think we should take a look, but I also want to wrap up business here in the Arctic ASAP. <laughs> with mass on our side... <laughs> Gotta go and hang out with Snowdrop for a bit, you know What's what I'm saying? Which comes first? <laughs> nice emote, lol, says Cyrexile. Uh, long Lash Coffee Cat. Hey, Long Lash, Long Lash says, woohoo! That was definitely a uh, Anakin Skywalker yippee kind of pose. Level complete. Wow. 
One, two, three, yeah. Okay, oh, did, where were these things hiding? It wasn't, there's not much to the levels, really, and I've missed a bunch of intel and battle files. Unlock some concept art. Should we have a look at the concept art? I'm not going to play too long past, I know I started like about 20 past six, but I'm not going to play too long past eight because I didn't have any dinner due to technical issues. Thank you, OBS. Um, so I'm, um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go on too much later, but uh, I do want to check out the desert level. Having a new biome to check out will be good, uh, but I do want to see if, if I've unlocked anything interesting. Have I unlocked another movie? No. Character art. <laughs> Great. Wow. That's some exciting unlocks there. What about here? Okay, some concept art. Wow, this is like the least interesting unlocks ever. In a way, at least the Eragon unlock, which was the advert for the books, brought some emotion out. That was just like, yeah. Who's gonna, who the fuck would care about the concept art for this game? That's definitely just, they, they were just like, oh, shit, we need some collectibles. Like, it's got two player, got the, yeah, got most of the shit we need for a game. Just need some collectibles. Um, just make some fuck, fucking bang some concept art. It doesn't have to be any good shit. Just, you, whatever. There is, in this box that I've just found, um, a pamphlet. And it's green colour, but you can kind of see, there we go, so it's got it's a little advert for some action figures. Snake Eyes, Conrad, Wallace, and who have we got here? Neo Viper, Zartan. Oh, Storm Shadow. We just fought Storm Shadow. And uh, there's uh, the Baroness. Uh, Baroness, not Black Widow. So there we go. Alrighty. Okay, sorry. Let's go to the desert. Oh, shit. Can I unlock Ripcord from here? Okay. Yo, Joe! <laughs> One, yo! Oh, shit, you're not seeing it. One, yo, Joe. Two, his surname is Weems. Wallace Weems. I've never heard of the surname Weems. Is that a real surname? It seems like it's made up. No, it's a real it's a real surname. Okay. Weems meaning. A definition of a weem. In Scottish it's a natural or artificial cavern or pit, but I don't think that's What it means on Urban Dictionary, a weem is a person who is obsessed with internet memes or is constantly quoting the latest viral video. They typically live in their mum's basement and play MMOs. I don't think that's it either. The surname Weems was first found in Fife. Really? Mm. No, don't know about that one. Okay, let's do this. Ripcord and Duke, we're going in. Not weeb, it's actually, it, it was a page, f an urban dictionary for weem.
Welcome to the Valley of Apep, Joes. Dr. Burkhart, if you could give us a briefing on the Mars facilities. I tell you again, General, this is a waste of time. These facilities were used for shipping and are not something G.I. Joe needs to spend time worrying. All due respect, Doc, but the troops and I have traced a lot of mass transmissions to and from Egypt. And that's why we're here, Breaker. Joes, I put a unit on the ground ahead of you to do some recon. Dusty, are you on the line? Dusty. Hey, Joe. General. Hey, Dusty. I, I, earlier, I guess Dusty I works in the look. desert. It's a bit well armed. No. Mars vehicles, Viper troops, the works. What about the Mars facilities themselves? General, I don't know what's going on there, but it's not shipping and receiving. <laughs> Dusty, you're taking point for recon. The rest of you are forcing your way into this facility. Hawk out. Thanks, Hawk. Valuable intel there. Thought these Mars facilities were tactically irrelevant. However, Breaker's analysis of mass transmit logs has me suspicious that Cobra's up to something out here. Let's have a look around. Okay. Oh, can I get in the car? Nope. Nope. Wow, the smoke that came out of their parachutes the there was the elite of the Viper Corps. exactly the, the same smoke that comes out of them when they die. So don't let them catch you in those laser sights. Okay, I'll try not to. Can I get in the cut? Joes, let's disrupt the enemy supply lines. Take out the ammo dumps in this area before you move on. All right. Here we go. Yeah, we can get in the vehicle. Joes, All right. If you need it, lift ticket can drop you another ride. Lift you ticket. Be more careful with the vehicle. Fuck. G.I. Joe doesn't need to go over its operating budget on a single mission. Alright, here we go. Lift ticket. What? I just when I thought the names couldn't get any stupider. Whoa. Fucking controls like that. Warthogs in Halo, this thing. Wow. Jesus Christ. This is a colour scheme that's definitely more suited to the Terraflops green-brown colour scheme. Whee! Oh, I am just wrecking everyone's day here. The computer's just doing all the aiming for me. I'm just pressing the trigger and Spinning my thumb around on the thumbstick slightly. I'm trying to get this pissing power up. What is it? Bonus. Is there something in there to blow up? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it was point point bonuses. There's not much detail in these uh, in this mountain range, is there? It's, could be a, a texture template used in any of the uh, past terrible terraflops I've done that have been set in deserts or brown mountain ranges. I've destroyed six of the ammo dumps. Hey, friends of the forest. Boom, boom. Well, there we go, just smashing through. They close the door on them. They're all spawning behind the wall. Ha ha ha, suckers! Speaking of which, if you get a moment, this is the Gelsa. What's this? What is this? Oh. It's clipped me laughing at Snowjob. Excellent. It says I'm playing Blade and Sorcery. Well, I'm not. Because uh, I tried to change it to G.I. Joe. Oh, now it's loading. G.I. Joe Rise of the... Why G.I. Joe Rise... There we go. There we go. Now we're playing the right game on Twitch. Uh, oh, mission briefing. Oh, fudge. You don't stand a chance. You down. You should have You should have Why is he telling me I should have surrendered when I'm killing him? 
I'm pretty sure I saw a guy just like a sprite just on top of the hill. Um, just hanging out there. Like waiting for his parachute to spawn. Can I just get away? Can I just skip the whole level? <laughs> I can. Brilliant. That said G.I. Joe for me when I got in. Huh. How weird. Okay. What time is it? It's 7.54. Fuck it. I think we've seen enough of this game to know that it's terrible. But um, it's not the worst game I've ever played. Um, the, it's kind of stupid. And as someone who is kind of stupid themselves, you know, I, I've, got, I've got a lot of respect for that. I don't think I'd ever want to play any more of this because it is quite a boring game. But and the, the longer I play it, the more mind numb. The more my mind gets numbed. But you know, it has some chance. It's definitely not an 80 out of 100 like that other game, that that, that review website said it was. But it's definitely not a naught out of 100 either. Am I supposed to be doing something? Maybe. Can I get past this? No, I guess that's a dead end. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know what I'm going to do. To end this, I'm going to see if I've unlocked any trophies. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Did I get any trophies for this game? It's been a very long time since we've had a Terraflop full playthrough, says Silver Comet. Sure has, because I only normally do the ones that are good. Um, I did do a bit of that uh, Indiana Jones rip-off game, because it was unintentionally hilarious at first, but then it just got really bad. Well, this is taking its time to sink. Yo, trophies, says Alexander Hansen. I mean, the game taught us, did teach us about snow job. You're right, dog party. You're right. Here we go. I got five trophies for G.I. Joe. Is that? You can get a platinum. I wonder if anyone's ever platinum to G.I. Joe. Doesn't say on the PlayStation 3. I got triplets. I got Yo Joe. And I got Code Cracker. Lost Keys. It takes two. That You get that achievement for pulling the legs off an elephant. Uh, right. Well, that was episode 90 of, GI, of Terraflops. G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra on PlayStation 3. A bad game but not one that made me hate life for once, which was good. Next week, uh, next Tuesday, there'll be more Terraflops. So stay tuned, like and subscribe and all that stuff if you want updates for when my next video's coming along. Uh, I want to stream some Elden Ring VR this week, whether I do it tomorrow or Thursday, depends on how busy I am. Uh, Zoe's off work on Eurogamer this week. So it's a little bit hectic. Uh, there's going to be a few couple of live streams on Eurogamer at least just to, uh, to fill some gaps in the schedules. Uh, definitely going to be doing some Evil Dead. Let's play uh, live streams even on Friday on Eurogamer. I mean earlier if we can, but there will of course be the Friday Platform 32 stream as well so plenty to look forward to on both channels i don't know if i ever look forward to teraflops but i look forward to fridays and i look forward to uh, doing some elden ring vr for you all as well so thanks much for keeping everyone safe thanks to everyone who watched um and uh, yeah do subscribe and all that jazz and have a great day goodbye <laughs>